Hello guys, a quick video on how to do Ethernet cable. We are going to do CAT 6B Ethernet cables in this video. Now, let's begin. To do a CAT 6B Ethernet cable, you need registered jack 45. These pieces usually come in bulk, otherwise known as RJ45. Other things that you need include the Ethernet cable. So we have a blue Ethernet cable which we will be using in this video to demonstrate how to do this. You will also need other equipments but before that the Ethernet cables come in different colors. So we are using blue but you could meet a red, a yellow, a pink, a black, a gray ethernet cable any of them can work so other, other things you need to do the ethernet include crimping tools so we have two crimping tools as you can see this is what we are going to use to do cut 6b ethernet cable You pick your Ethernet cable with the one of the crimping tools as shown on your screen and insert on your wire and make sure you cut the outer cover. Remove the outer cover and unpack the wires carefully so that you do not tamper with them. Make sure that you are remaining with the plastic part in the center in the central in the center of the wires the plastic part at the center of the wires is cut carefully using the crimping tool once this is done the wires are un are unpacked as they are always twisted and straighten them up as shown in this video After unpacking the wires, make sure you arrange them in the following order. The white strip to the orange wire becomes the first, followed by the orange wire. This is followed by a white stri stripped with green wire. That's the third wire. This is followed by a plain blue wire. The plain blue wire is followed by a white strip with blue wire. The white strip with the blue wire is followed by a green wire. And this is followed by a white strip with the brown wire and finally a brown wire. This is called crossover. Blue and green are actually crossed over. You straighten up the wires and make sure they come in this order i can do this video in a slower speed so that you get to understand better what i am trying to do Once you have completed, you pick up your crimping tool and cut the wires. You realign these wires so that they are straight enough and make sure you cut them to trim them. They need to be very well aligned. Pick your RJ45 clip. Make sure the, the circled part faces down so that it is reverse. The new, the new way you should hold the RJ45 is as it appears on the screen. Now this, with the part facing on you, you need to hold your wires in this 
there in this manner on your hand you need to insert these wires as they are in the in this order in your rj45 this is what i was explaining as the crossover the blue and the green wires cross over each now the wires are pushed in the rj45 in this direction make sure you do this carefully until you obtain an image close to what you can see on your screen when you hold it when you view it from above you are supposed to see this some rj45 clips can allow wires to go past their end and this is what you will be able to see now in the video demonstration this is what you should do with the wires aligning themselves in that order you insert in your rj45 and slowly but carefully push the wires inside make sure the wires do not get compromised so that they enter each wire enters its correct position once this is done you need to ascertain that you pick your crimping tool and use the correct part of the crimping tool to press the rj45 this will ensure that the wires are crimped into the rj45 Now this process is repeated again at the other end of the same cable so that you have both ends of the cable crimped with RJ45 so that you have now a full cable that is encrypted with the uh, uh, CAT 6B standard. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. This video has been sponsored by Analytica Soft and has been presented to you by 